Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Lizon, helping you live naturally in an unnatural world. Today I want to speak to you about this so-called miracle drug called heliotherapy. I say so-called because technically it's not a drug at all, but it has been suppressed. Heliotherapy is sunlight therapy. And it's been around for a very long time. In fact, Kellogg, the same guy that created your breakfast cereal cornflakes, wrote an entire textbook called Light Therapeutics way back in 1910, over a hundred years ago. But we've forgotten about this and it's been essentially suppressed. What do I mean by suppressed? Well, essentially two things have happened. One is the sort of discovery of UV light and the damage that UV light can do. As a result, we shun the sun for the most part. And the second thing that's essentially happened is the use of medications has become, well, it's quite effective in a lot of situations, but it's become inundated into our psychology that when we have a serious problem, we will tend to turn to that versus more natural things. Ari Witten, in his book on red light therapy, writes the following. If there were a pill that was scientifically proven to help you look 10 years younger, lose fat, improve hormonal health, fight pain and inflammation, increase strength endurance, heal faster, improve your brain health, and increase your energy levels, it would be a billion dollar blockbuster drug. This is exactly what red light and near infrared light therapy can do for us. It's called photobiomodulation and it's extremely well documented. Times are changing and we need to go back to basics and understand how light therapy and sunlight therapy in particular can help us get the health that we deserve. Let's break it down. Essentially, there are three types of light that reaches the Earth's surface. And these are ultraviolet light, visible light, and infrared light. And Kellogg wrote about this again back in 1910 where he says, and I'll, and I'll read it here, Light treatment involves not only the use of rays of light such as appear on the ordinary spectrum, and that's visible light, but also the ultraviolet and the ultra-red rays, that's the infrared light. So Kellogg's writing about this back in 1910, and we still generally don't understand it. What you can see up here on the screen now is a picture of this light that's reaching the Earth's surface. Let's go through each of them so you can understand how they might better help you with your health. Ultraviolet light, you can see the UVC is completely filtered out in the atmosphere. The UVB is 0.1% of the light, total light that reaches the Earth's surface, and that's what we need to produce vitamin D. The UVA light that you can see, which makes up 5% of all the light reaching the Earth, it's used for other things in health as well, and that can actually reduce things like blood pressure. Visible light into the blue spectrum is used for all kinds of things. It stimulates our circadian rhythms, it's used for acne, it's used in dentistry, and many, many more. Some of the other things that we see with the visible light, in the red in particular, is this photobiomodulation. That's immensely well documented in the literature, and in the short form version, it increases your production of energy, ATP, it decreases inflammation, and it helps manage pain. So it heals the body. So when you put that all together, it's immensely valuable. The near infrared light you can see just to the right of the red has the same benefits as the red, but it penetrates the body even deeper. And we're seeing massive benefits with brain health there, for example. And then finally, the infrared, the 56% of the light that reaches the Earth's surface, is essentially heat. And we see massive benefits to heat. You just have to look to saunas as an example. And we've seen over 20-year longitudinal studies that sauna use can help with brain health, it can help with cardiovascular health, and it releases nitric oxide, which helps, to cir which helps the circulation as well. The point being that all of these types of light have a benefit on the body. If you start trying to isolate and only use individual things, you're missing the forest for the trees. I have one more chart that I want to share with you to just make my final point. And in this chart through here, what it's actually looking at is sunlight, season, and latitude, the associations with health status. Get a load of this. Look at the screen here. 
All of these things benefit by more sunlight, all cause mortality, asthma, cancer, cardiovascular disease, cognitive impairment, Parkinson's, diabetes. If you stop and think about the common causes of death, the things that are going to kill us, cardiovascular disease, cancer, diabetes are all near the top of that list and they all benefit by increased sunlight exposure and that is because we need that light to function optimally. My last point, vitamin D deficiency is rampant in the world and that's because we don't get enough UV light. If we're not getting enough UV light, then it stands to reason we're not getting enough light and that would be my basic hypothesis as to why we're seeing so many health problems because we're not getting exposed to light. So there you have it. Until next time, I'm Dr. Todd Lizon. Keep well. Please, if you've enjoyed the video, hit the like button or subscribe on YouTube. Until next time, keep well.